And welcome to Poppy's Workshop and what's on Poppy's Workbench. Well, today I'm going to be working on a, a slight variation of the dump truck that I made last week. And I did kind of fix my lighting a little bit. I took one of my uh, five-time magnifying glasses on a long arm. This one had a long arm. Um, I tried using it on the scroll saw connected to the... Uh, to the table, but it vibrated too much. I, I prefer the one I have on the wall. So anyway, uh, so I did this one very quickly uh, the other day, and I really like the way it came out. It just uh, looks real nice, and I will eventually, f uh, I don't think I'm going to finish this one in linseed oil. I'm going to keep it all natural. Uh, so that is the model, and I've already cut out um, all the pieces here and uh, sanded every no I didn't sand everything ah you know <laughs> uh, my wife calls me the absent-minded professor and uh, you know I can see why because I forget things all the time so I did some minor sanding I did uh, a little bit of profiling and stuff like that so I'm going to break out the Heavy duty <sighs> puppy here, and I'm really debating about keeping the audio on. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn the audio off and just put some music behind it so you don't have to listen to this uh, because it is quite loud. So I'm going to do a little bit of quick sanding here, and uh, then I'll be back to talk about everything here. So, hey, enjoy. I did not turn it off, or did I? I don't know if I turned it off or not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to blank out that audio anyway. Um, so that's the good thing here. Um, yeah, actually, I probably need to do this one too. I'm going to hand sand this one. Um, this doesn't have much on it, and it's going to be between two pieces of, uh, of wood anyway. And I'll have to do some fine fitting on it as well once uh, <sighs> okay. There we go. All righty. So what difference I made in this ever so minor, as you can see, is I used a different species of wood um, for the middle section of the dumper. Let's get that. And I used some red oak uh, from a scrap piece. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, let's get some light in there. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So it's just going to give it a little bit better um, contrast and colors. So I'm going to glue this up, but of course, in order to make sure that everything is aligned. I'm going to take a little dowel here so that I know that 
the dumper is going to be aligned. Um, and I'm trying to figure how I'm going to do this. If I slide it in like so, that, oh, dummy, upside down. Oh, I didn't even have to do that. So let's see, there it is. Okay, so it goes this way. it'll glue up. So I want to make sure that that is indexed. I want to make sure that the bottom is indexed. So I've got to get that in a little bit more. Let's see how that goes. So we'll make sure that that is indexed right. Yeah. And that there is right. And just a little bit of fine sanding. This is real close. Won't have any issues whatsoever. Now, figure out how I want to actually glue that. Really is not going to take uh, much glue. Um, so I do one. I think I'm going to do one at a time. So. Let's do this. Um, I can spin this away. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. If I glue that, pivot that back in after it's set up, and then push it in. Yeah, maybe. Actually, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to start out here. I'm going to get this indexed in, clamped, you know, uh, let me get my activator. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Yeah. This is what happens. I forgot to put it in my pocket. I'll get a couple clamps, knock some stuff over. Yeah, I'm getting tired on this, uh, this day, starting my second week of holiday, which is good. So, yeah, uh, make sure everything is going to touch. I think I'll glue that. I'll spray this. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. I'll go spritz, spritz. I'll do that off camera. All right, let's double check this again. Measure twice, cut once, yep, that works. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do I want to, I'll just, I'm debating, you know, I'm not going to see a glue, but I want a little bit more time for me to make sure that this fits properly. And what I'll do then, oh, I keep going off camera here. And what I'll do is throw a couple clamps on. the way that's going to clamp. I want to make sure that it's 
still lined up. Oh, it's off a little bit. Ever so slight. But I'll be putting this to my belt sander. So that it's all evened up. That does need to be clamped though. I'll get this here. Yep, that's not too bad actually. I want to make sure that's even. Okay, that's lined up nice. So we'll let that set up a little bit. It doesn't take very long to, uh, you know, and I need to check this. Make sure my clearance is there. Clearance, clearance. Oh, that's the wrong thing to use, but, oh, that's close. Nothing a little sanding at the top won't take care of. Oh, come on, get out of there. Yeah, I'm not using this type of dowel because it'll be too tight. I'm using the um, these so that they fit looser. Loosey goosey. Okay. There we go. Ah, we're getting nowhere thanks to me. Okay. Let's do the other side. And what I'll do just pivot that down, swing it up after I put the glue on. Pivot into position and slide it down. And here we go. Aligned at the bottom. Let's clamp that puppy. Make sure it didn't move. Okay. Clamp at the top. All right. No, I think, no, I guess that's tight enough. So let's, uh, oh look, we have a little horsey. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing, let me move this all over here. The next thing that I do need to do while this sets up is the tires. So looking at this, you can see that the dumper needs to go between the wheels uh, so that it can dump. So I made a couple shims here that will go on either side of the rear. Um, yeah, so I think how I did it was like that, a little CA glue. I want to make sure I don't get any on the dowel. Uh, I mean, I'll pull that out pretty quickly. So, put a couple dabs of CA glue. Get that dowel. There, so we can index and viola. That I probably coulda, shoulda, woulda. We'll do a little CA from the side. 
even if just a little gets in there. Oh. There we go. So we'll do the same with this. Let's uh, do a little dry fit there. Make sure it fits right. that puppy in there. There we go. All right, and then I'll do some, a little bit of sanding there. So now what should happen, the wheels will go on and I can't find my little piece of cardboard. I've got a piece of cardboard here. Ah, there it is. So what I do is I'll take this piece of cardboard here with the cutout and um, stick it in there and then I'll glue. And then I would pull that out, and that gives me a nice even space between the wheel and the other part. So we got that. Um, the other thing that I want to do is I want to be able to do the front wheels, and we're going to do this all at once. Let me cover this up. Actually, I think this is set up enough now. See how that dumper works. Actually, hey, lined up pretty good. So let's get those holes lined up. Yeah, these will have to be trimmed. So let's see. And yeah, it's going to give plenty of clearance to the wheels. And you can see the stripe looks a little bit better there. So what I need to do is trim the front axles and the axles to the dump bed. And uh, this won't take very long at all. Uh, I've shown this multiple times. A uh, little jig that I put together. And I have this at um, the half inch mark. Oh, there goes one of my uh, little barrels there. And I'll just put it in and zip it right out. So you'll hear the noise. Uh, let me get my light on. Slow down my blade. Get stuff out of the way. And um, we'll do the front axles first. Here we go. Oh. There's one. Let's get the second one. Okay, there's two. So let's get the um, front wheels on. I'll show you how I do it. Uh, as I said, I trim it so that it's not quite halfway. All right, so even when they're tight like this, they, the axles do not touch. So, Let's do the fronts. I think 
got enough in there. So we do that. Got it set up. And this will slide out nicely. Yeah, let me move this out of the way. Don't need you anymore. <sighs> This is where you got to have the balance. It'll it'll wiggle a little bit. That's okay. And I will put some glue down there. I can't see it. Okay. Come on, baby. Get in there. There we go. Okay. So we'll let that set up. See, one of the things I want to make sure is that the wheels do not uh, accidentally get glued. Let's get rid of any fuzzies that I see. There we go. All right, let's go do the back. What I'm trying to do is put plenty in there that it actually drips down to the middle and the other side. Well, there it is. That's not exactly what I wanted it to do. I didn't want it to drip out. Ah, uh, yeah. But I guess that's a good thing. All right, let me get my hands wiped off. I forgot to get my paper towel handy dandy. Ah, okay. Now this happens with videoing. There we go, that's turning fine. Let's get a little more glue in here. Ah, uh, one thing I forgot to do was, uh-oh, did I do something stupid here? Give it a second. No, I think because of the dripping, it, uh, all right. I'm going to have to give it a tappity tap. All right, that is. I think that works. 
Ah, that was close. That was actually further away than I want. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, it's not the way I had hoped. Has a lot more slop. Yeah, that's what I dumped. All right, so a little bit of an error, but it still spins. It's off balance now. Uh, I'll have to figure out, I may have to cut that. I may cut it off, redrill it. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I think these I have to trim. Yes. So, uh, back in a moment here. Okay, now we're back at this. So this one, I'm trying to remember the easy way to do this. I think what I did, Yeah, it rocks a little bit here where this one doesn't. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm going to have to decide on that. Hmm. Yeah, I got to think about it. But I think what I did on this is put a little CA glue. Here, a little bit of a spin, that should do that. And dummy me, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I have some fine sanding to do. But it's close enough. I mean, I can do there. I can go in with my little belt sander. There. Doesn't really need much. But yeah, I got ahead of myself. But anyway, there you go. I've got to figure out if I want to cut that wheel off. Cut it off there, redrill it. I'm not sure. I got to think about it. But that's it. That's how you do it quickly and make mistakes. Nothing like uh, recording your errors for posterity's sake. Um, but it's a nice little truck. Uh, I'll figure out better techniques of uh, manufacturing it. Um, more of gluing up. That's always been my my bane has been gluing. So there you go. Um, this video actually a lot longer than I had expected, and uh, this works well. See how that goes. But yeah, that's a little bit too much wiggle wiggle for my taste. So may the Lord richly bless you. Make it a great day right here at Poppy's Workshop.